is Ristan Hishen and in today's video I would like to talk to you about various topics. So today's video I would like to dedicate it to my um, to my grandmother, my beautiful grandmother Marie Jen who passed away this week. Um, Marie um, has leaves behind her children and her grandchildren who all love and who will uh, who will deeply miss her um one thing that i loved about my grandmother um i'm gonna do a little dedication for to begin this video is that she was a person she was always honest like i can remember sometimes when she didn't agree with my choices and she would tell me right off the bat look Christine, I don't I don't agree with what you're doing. And even though sometimes we we would butt heads, but she was somebody you can always count on her to tell you what it what it is, to tell you like it is. She was a person that was extremely honest and she's one of those people, my grandma, that if you're wearing something and she's like, look, I don't like how that looks on you. This makes you look fat. This makes you look tired. She just always tells you the truth. Like she was funny and she was a great person. And she went through a whole lot throughout her lifetime. But I'm so proud of her how she basically, she got all her kids to go to school by being a market seller in Haiti. And she took care of our whole family her like she basically did it mostly through her market selling she put all her children through school college and she's somebody that i look whenever i think about her and whenever i talk about her to my family members or to anybody that will listen i speak on her with pride because of all the sacrifices she made for her family um that's where my my mom gets this mentality that's where my aunts get their mentality that's where my uncles get their mentality where they, they they they're always for their family and they sacrifice for their family and they're they're always they always go above and beyond for their children and this is one characteristic that my mom inherited completely you know my my grandmother and my mom are basically that's the same person they they're so close um and even though my mom's hurting, her children are, are hurting, I know she's resting in peace right now. And this video is basically for my grandma. Um, I love you so much, grandma. So then to continue with the video, um, the next topic I'm going to be covering is that of my favorite TV show, Chicago PD. Like, um, I'm always telling you guys how much I love Chicago PD but let's go into the main reasons why i love chicago pd okay so the main reason i love chicago pd has to do with jay halstead and aaron Lindsay. okay their relationship is so beautiful i love their relationship and it basically has to do with the fact that aaron Lindsay, played by sophia bush and jay halstead who is played by the character, um, the actor, Jesse Lee Soffer, they have a relationship. It's not based on things that are perfect, like an ideal type of relationship. It's a relationship that's based on, you know, they, they're, they're trying to work things out. Like, you could tell that Jay is crazy about, um, she, he's crazy about Aaron Lindsay and Aaron Lindsay is the same way but Aaron Lindsay comes from a background that's not like Jay Halstead's background which is very stable Aaron Lindsay comes from a background where her mom's a junkie and she didn't know who her father was there's possible many men that could have been her father they did they've done several paternity tests which, which she keeps getting her hopes up and it's, it ends up not being the father. So she has a lot of baggage issues. She has a lot of stuff going on in her life that she wants to figure out. 
And the thing I love about their relationship is that Jay, he's all in for, he's, he's all in it. He wants to go all in it. He wants to, he wants to do, enjoy the ride with her. He wants to go through the difficulties with her, find out who her dad is. And the thing that's so great about, cool about Chicago PD is that it ends up that Hank Voigt, the, the, um, the department, the, the, the head detective, Hank Voigt is actually her father. That's how it's written down. If you look it up, Chicago PD, that's who her father actually was written as being. And so, because the mother had like a, a one-time thing with the with Hank Voigt, and it's always being questioned whether he is or he isn't the father, but he actually is, compared to how the writers writ, wrote the wrote the script, he is the father of Aaron Lindsay. And so, I would have really have a love to know how that would have worked out. But um, the first season, Aaron Lindsay was written off because Sophia Bush left the show, but. Uh, other reasons why I love this couple is that they just they're so into finding out about each other they want to learn as much about each other they want to just stick through it the thick and the thin the good and the bad and it's not about things being ideal it's about working things out they're always there for each other like Jay's character is always there for her whenever she's frustrated about her the person not being her father like a, a new guy not being her dad or she, whatever her mom is giving her problems he's there you know so it, it just sh gives you that relationship where the person's there they're, they're present they're, they're, worldly, uh, they're willing to work through all the tough things so that they could make the relationship work um, to me that's what an ideal relationship is and that's why I love Aaron Lindsay and Jay Halsett's um, relationship in Chicago PD. In Chicago PD. Okay, so then to segue, the next topic will be on how to be more secure. How to be more secure. Okay, so to be more secure, um, and this is pertaining towards anybody basically how to feel like you're well I'm gonna go for for women how to be how to feel like you're beautiful how to feel like um, more secure uh, for women but if you're a guy and you want you could apply this to you but use it in the sense that you're more handsome so just switch around the terms that I'm using so for women how to feel that you are beautiful just the way you are um, and even while you're working on the next step um, I don't know if you're working on a look or if you're trying to lose weight whatever you're trying to do if you're trying to update something whatever it is okay the goal is when you're trying to be more secure is to have an abundance mindset okay part of um, not feeling secure not feeling beautiful is a lack mindset it's a lack of mindset in which the person thinks if this woman is beautiful, if this flower is beautiful, it takes away from my own. It really doesn't. Because in this world, God is so abundant, right? We can all have beauty in our own way, our unique way, and it does still be more beauty to be had. Just like riches, we could all be rich according to what we would want even filthy rich each of us and there'd still be much more richness to be had because this is an abundant world this is an abundant universe you know there's a lot to be had from this world okay so how to feel beautiful or how to feel handsome if you're a guy you have to have an abundance mindset so the abundance mindset means this person having a cool a cool life or this person being so beautiful or having something that I want it doesn't spark envy in me it sparks me to be inspired I'm just I'm inspired I want to do better it makes me inspired that's that's number two number three is when you see other people succeeding 
that's your cue to start thanking thanking god thanking thanking god look whoa they're succeeding you know i can succeed um and if you see something that you admire in somebody else don't be afraid to emulate it in your own way because there's a reason why you're you admire it it, it strikes your fancy there's something that about it that inspires you that brings out the creativity in you don't be afraid to explore it if somebody touches your heart like they have something that they do they, they do artwork or whatever they do and you're inspired don't be afraid to begin to branch off and do your own thing and so um to be feel like you're beautiful it's an inside job okay for me for instance today I could say that I'm beautiful easily because I just feel it to my core I mean sometimes I'm I'm more shy than others that's one thing but I know for sure that I am gorgeous um and I would like for you guys to get to a point where you would know that you are gorgeous just the way you are okay so in order in order to feel this way, to feel look, I'm beautiful just the way I am. I may be a few pounds overweight. I may, I, I may, I may not fit a certain standard or whatever it is. I may not look a certain way or whatever, or a certain standard. You know, the the the, the, the hair and chic or the Kim Kardashian type of standard. But I am just gorgeous, just how I am. Okay, so one thing you have to know is that you are you, you are you, and that is your superpower. That is the thing that sets you apart from everybody else. You are you. Like for example, I'm Kristani. There is never, ever going to be another Kristani on this world to ever grace the world ever again. Like I'm me. Like you, you won't get another me. It's, this is it. Just like you, there'll never be another you. That's your superpower, being you, being authentically who you are. And one thing about beauty is that it's subjective. And it's subjective, but there are some things that will contribute to be you being beautiful. For instance, in my other video, I spoke to you guys about always being well-groomed. Um, because when you're not well groomed, well groomed, being well groomed can add a lot to your attractiveness if you feel you're not attractive particularly. If you're trying to get to that point where you feel more attractive, okay? But if you are not well groomed, but you will see that even if you're gorgeous, it will take away from the presentation because if you're somebody and you don't present yourself well, at least grooming wise or posture wise all that all that type of sense um people cannot see you for who you are the the gem that you are and you are a gem okay so then grooming is very important um especially for women like a, a key goal would be to always have smooth skin clear smooth skin with minimal to no acne okay or minimal like like uh, um, to always be taking care of the skin so if you are somebody you're trying to um improve your skin you can look up ways and research ways on how to improve the look and the glow of your skin that's one thing i notice about people that are beautiful their skin is to an extent well moisturized and they it's it has an inner glow like it has a useful glow that you could see from within okay so another way that you could feel that you are gorgeous is by telling yourself every day that you're gorgeous okay because as i said before there's only one you so you need to start um getting it through yourself that there's only one you and you know it takes time it takes a lot of time 
but as you begin to work more on the insides which is what you really want to work on your insides how you think about and how you feel about yourself you will begin to see that with time you will begin to feel that you're beautiful and you begin to act like you're beautiful but you have to work on the inside the ref the mirror the the person that is being reflected you have to work on you your insides you have to get it through your 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 yourself by re repetition of what you're saying to yourself you have to be deliberate about what you're saying to yourself you have to be deliberate about what you wear you have to be deliberate about what you think and you have to be deliberate about the people that you hang around okay because if you're around people that they don't they, they're miserable and they want you to be miserable because misery loves company you're gonna feel like a, a boatload of crap because what's going on is that you are not around people that see the potential in you you're not around people that can harness that potential in you and so another point in being and feeling like you're the best self that you're beautiful that you're gorgeous just the way you are is to believe deep inside of you that you're that way and okay this is gonna be I'm gonna use a car analogy now I've used this analogy in my earlier videos but I'm gonna use it to show you that you can see yourself as beautiful it's just it will take time okay so with the car analogy um, when you first learn to drive it hasn't gotten through your subconscious mind yet what's actually happening is that you're driving with your conscious mind so when you're driving with your conscious mind you are so cautious about what you're doing your hands on the the gas pedal your hands on the steering wheel i mean your feet's on the, the brake um you just you're paying attention to every single detail you're you're you're, you're, you're so painstakingly looking at the light to see when it changes from green to yellow to red and you just you are have a death grip on the steering wheel because you want to make sure you don't get into an accident that's because for the first few weeks months um even year of driving until you perfect your driving game you're still on that conscious level you're learning about how to drive and so you're you, everything is just, just so painstaking but then as you begin to practice practice habit day in and day out practicing driving what you'll actually see is that the subconscious mind will begin to take over and how do you know the subconscious mind is beginning to take over well what will happen is when the subconscious mind takes over you'll see that a trip that used to take you an hour trip which you would feel like it was an hour it would take you much much less time and it'll be like it, it was a breeze and that's because now it has become part of your habitual mind uh, same thing as when you go into a online profile such as maybe a Twitter or your email and then you forget your password but then you just hold out your hand or if you forgot somebody's number and then you just take your hand and begin to mimic what you think the number is you see within time you already have it dialed and you put in the correct password or you call the correct person because it's in your muscle memory it's in your habitual mind it's part of your body now so then i want you to guys to get to the point where you feel so beautiful you're so constantly surrounding yourself with beautiful things people that keep pouring into you people that keep telling you how gorgeous you are and you're always taking material that says that look I'm, I'm perfect just as I am and you are that you begin to do this so much at first it'll be like the, the choo choo train that keeps saying I think I can I think I can look I think I'm beautiful I think I'm great I think I can do great things but then as you keep building the momentum you keep building the momentum like the little train that could you begin to see with time as the momentum begins to build you will go and you will speed up and you will think 
that you're beautiful and it, the more you work on this the more you work on this and the more like when you get insulted like through life which which happens we all live through life um if somebody says something to you you'll build yourself in your core up so much from the inside which is the most strongest part of you that with time anybody can say whatever they want you'll be convinced of your beauty and of how gorgeous you are which is um what's most important that you feel that you're beautiful you feel that you're worthy you feel that you're the confident you feel that you bring your best self to the table because if you know who you are it doesn't matter what anybody else says it doesn't matter what the world says if you know who you are and god tells you who you are and he's always telling you what you can do because he's looking from the end he already knows who you are from the end what's gonna happen is you're gonna see um you're gonna see you're just gonna see your greatness you know you're just gonna see uh your greatness from you're just gonna see how great you are and and again that comes from working from the inside out not on nitpicking on what's outside um, although you can change what's on the outside to begin to influence what's on the inside you really want to work on that core image of who you are on the inside that core person and you can do this many ways uh, one of the many ways you could do this is by who you hang around or um, who you're talking to who you're around what you're constantly feeding yourself each and every single day you want to constantly feed yourself good material that is life fulfilling that is building towards your confidence that's building up towards you thinking you're the bee's knees that you're all that and a bag of chips which you are and you want to keep this going until you have such a solid sense of who you are that nobody can tell you nothing and it's not from a place of arrogance, but it's a place of knowing you have healthy self-esteem. And from a place that of knowing that you are great just the way you are. And you are. So then, um, begin to work on yourself. And begin to work on knowing that you're beautiful, confident, and worth it. Because you are. And keep working on this from your core. And keep doing this until you build the momentum you build the momentum keep working on your life until you're the star of your life you're the star of your movie your personal life movie so that's my video for today uh, my name is Kristani Shen I really hope you enjoyed it